everyone welcome and welcome back to my channel happy sunday to you all today is wash day today, and of course i have other wash videos on my channel so i'm not going to be going over that because i'm sure it will bore you because if you wanted to know how i wash my hair you would just go back to the other videos because it is basically the same um and what i'm basically going to do is show you guys what I'm going to be using today. Last week I used the new African Pride Moisture Miracle line and this one is the Honey and Coconut Oil Nourish and Restore. So I'm going to use the Honey and Coconut Oil Nourish and Shine Shampoo and then I'm going to follow up using the um, honey chocolate and coconut oil nourish and restore conditioner so I'm going to use those two and I'm going to come back and show you um, when I'm done so basically this is the wash so the beginning of the week I was wearing the twist out from when I applied the products uh, in the beginning of the week last wash day and um, on Wednesday, I did a co-wash and just added some um, a leave-in product. This particular time, I did not use the um, African Pride leave-in conditioner. I went on ahead and used one of my all-time favorites, still from the same line. Shea is the African Pride Shea Miracle Moisture Intense Leave-In Conditioner. So I used that and I'm going to be using that again today because I'm actually going to be preparing my hair for um, this week and I'm going to be wearing wigs this week. So I'm going to show you all how I actually prep my hair for that process so this is what the hair looks like really close up i don't think it looks too bad it's very hydrated um it still has some moisture to it and it is nice and soft but it is sunday and it is time to get the hair ready for the rest of the week and that's what we're going to do today so i'm going to go on ahead and start the process of washing and conditioning my hair and i will meet you back for the deep conditioning coming in at this stage because I wanted to show you what the hair looks like. I know you saw it last week, um, but I'm going to show you again <laughs> to show you that it is still working very well for me. And also to show you the process, when you are putting your hair up, you want to make sure that um, you're getting some extra nourishment and treatment before you uh, put it up for the week because... Um, you're not going to, because it's going to be braids, you're not going to be taking it out every few days or so to moisturize it uh, by strand. So you're going to have to prepare it and protect it um, with that style in mind. And then make sure that throughout the week you're going in and you're just adding um, some... Uh, a little bit of moisture if it's going to be water or whatever i would do i would spray my hair a little bit and then um go in with a leave conditioner a leave a leave-in conditioner and then after that what i do is um put my scalp treatment into my hair so it's getting some extra stimulation and my scalp is um being treated just in case it has any um um, itchies or anything like that so um, so I'm going to take those and it's already wet so we really don't have to add a little bit we really don't have to add any moisture to it um, and if I do need to I will do so um, I'm going to be using the moisture miracle Moroccan clay and shea butter detox and soften mask I used it in the last wash day video hope this focus there you go and i'm going to use a nice size amount of that onto that section of the hair and then i probably will add some water just so that i can stretch the product because it is super thick and you really don't need to add too much to it you know so I'm going to add that water and to kind of work that product in a little more. And then I'm going to use this shower comb 
to detangle. And then I'm going to twist it and then put it in a clam or clip. I'm going to show you one more time. This is how much of the product that I have and it's pretty good because I am very heavy handed so <laughs> it's like so I'm going to be taking my scalp um my scalp spray this is distilled water pep, uh, 20 drops of peppermint and 30 drops of tea tree now I use this throughout the week um uh, also whenever I have like uh, an unruly itch a disrespectful itch or if uh, my scalp just feels like it needs a refresher also I use it to do my massages when I do my wash day and I use this when I am wearing wigs as well to um, stimulate my scalp now the um, tea tree is an antifungal and cleansing treatment and then the peppermint is stimulating. So it's very good for your scalp to uh, help cleanse it, keep any fungal, um, any type of fungus away, um, itching, dryness, any of those things. And it also um, stimulates, so it gets those um, hair follicles uh, uh, pumping and well, the blood flow, flow pumping and circulating and so on and so forth and that attributes to the um, healthy uh, follicles and hair growth. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to spray this on my edges, massaging them in all around the hairline, the back of my hair, the nape. In the sensor using extra solution where my hair is the most dry or irritated which is the crown of my hair so I'm using that and then of course all throughout the rest of the hair I'm gonna get that in there and then I'm going to take five minutes to massage my scalp you can use your vanity plant I'll have one of those um, but you can use whatever you have. I'm using my hands and you want to do this for about five minutes using your finger pads. Uh, try not to use your fingernails. I know sometimes it feels amazing, but it can cause abrasions on the scalp, damaging it. And that's not fun. So I'm going to go ahead and do this. I have already separated my hair so we can go on ahead and start to moisturize it and get it ready for braiding. So I'm going to wet my hair just a little bit so that it can better receive the product that I'm about to put on there. And I'm going to be using again that African Pride Shea Miracle Moisture Intense Leave-In Conditioner. And I'm going to add a, a nice size amount in there. If I need to add more, I will. But the goal is to get some really good moisture and to maintain it throughout the week because we're not, excuse me, going to be taking these braids out. I'm going to be using some shea butter because that is probably the best um, moisturizer and sealant that I can put on my hair, especially if I want longevity and moisture um, and protection on my hair. So I'm going to get that rubbed in my hands really well and then I'm going to use my shower comb to detangle the hair out starting from the 
gathering the hair. This is me gathering the hair. I'm not combing it from the roots, but I am gathering it from the roots. And then I'm going to comb at the ends. Until, I'm, until it's all the way detangled. And then I'm going to add a little bit of product, a little bit more product in there. So the moisture intense and the shea butter. Going to melt it. clip again and this is going to be repeated around the entire head until I am done Um, I'm going to release these so you would determine how big or how small you want your braids to be based on I guess your hair length thickness and then the wig that you're going to be wearing so I'm going to use this comb to detangle this out I'm going to use this black gel this one is the Ampro Pro Style regular whole protein styling gel it is alcohol and paraben free protein rich vegan non-flaking radiant shine hard hold protect Power, hard hold and protective. This um, I got from the Dollar Tree. Okay, so I'm going to continue to do this to the rest of the hair, and when I get to this side, I'll see you, okay?
All right, so in this entire session, this is what hair loss that I have. It's all still in the comb. I made sure that I left it in the comb so that you can see. It's not bad, huh? And then this is the other comb that I used. All right, so we put all of that hair together. This is how much hair loss for this entire wash session. So you guys, this is exactly how I um, get my hair ready to um, wear wigs all week. Um, I will moisturize it as needed. I will not be taking these braids out until the next wash day. So, or actually the pre-wash day, which is Saturday. Um, I'll be pre-washing my hair or pre-treating my hair. But this is how I will wear it. I will definitely do my edges um, as needed. But generally with the finger, with using my fingers and some gel. So, I'm going to tie this up. And when I'm ready to wear my wigs, I'll be all set. I've already sprayed my scalp treatment in there, so my scalp feels really clean and cool. The hair is clean, very soft and moisturized. And yeah, so I'm going to turn around so that you can see how my ends are pinned up and protected. So I hope you can see I have just braided them back and I just pin them up so that I can protect my ends so they're nice and tucked away and they're not being disturbed or manipulated. And that is how I put my hair up for wig wearing. <laughs> so I guess this week, if I show you any hair videos, it would definitely be a wig video. So I probably will go upstairs and go in my bag and pull out some wigs that I haven't worn in a while and kind of, um, I don't know, revamp them. <laughs> that is the end of this video. I hope that you've enjoyed it. Um, I think that is it. I don't have anything else to say other than happy Sunday and I will see you lovelies in my next one. All right. Bye-bye.